Hello ladies and gentlemen and thank you for joining me once again at Gaming with Giza. This is Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013. Um, quite a bit's happened since you've last been here. Um, as you can see I've got the old international out with the cultivator. Uh, but this is not to cultivate the barley field that we harvested. Oh no. Um, not long after we finished recording and we got the bales in, um, we had a downpour all night. And then we had a downpour all day and all night the following day and the same again the next day and the next day um, basically the field that I'm now on was ready for harvest but unfortunately it got bogged so we wasn't able to harvest it and now it's all wilted away so um, this field is now a total loss unfortunately um, so what I'm having to do now is use the international here and the cultivator to turn the field. Uh, what we did manage to do though is actually plough the um, the barley field that we harvested over there. We've actually ploughed that but we still want to cultivate, well what we're thinking about doing is buying a power harrow to uh, break up the soil uh, to get ready to, to seed. But unfortunately like I say this field here which Grandad planted not long before he sadly passed away is um, written off unfortunately so um, what we're going to have to do today is turn the field over get it all prepared uh, we'll see about buying maybe a power harrow and doing the uh, ploughed field I ploughed that off camera because I thought well with ploughing it takes that long to go back and forward uh, I might as well just do it off camera and if anybody wants to see it just please leave a comment and I don't mind recording it but I didn't want to bore you all so what we're going to do today is I'm going to set up on this field here and I'm going to perhaps get a helper to do it um, I'm not sure because um, my nephew wants to have a go so I might give him it and I might give him some pennies to do it you know just to thank him for the work because obviously this isn't what we expected so we shall see um, so yeah I think we'll make a start now for ourselves and um, see where it gets us. So let's just jump in and turn it on. There we go. I mean as you can see I've already made a start but time was pushing on last night so I decided to um, to stop before it got too dark and then spend some time with the wife. Uh, so yeah, it's a shame about this field really. We was hoping to make some decent profit off of it but hey ho uh, we had a look at the straw to see if we could perhaps mow the field and use it as uh, you know straw or silage but unfortunately the, there's that much water in it it'll just take forever to clamp down and whatever so it's not really ideal so we're just thinking we just might as well just turn it and uh, reseed it we're not sure what to put in this field at the minute um, we might dabble in corn, I don't know, we need to get a header if we do for the Clayson because at the moment that hasn't got a corn header, that's just got the wheat and barley header I was thinking maybe about um, oil seed rape perhaps but uh, we'll see because unfortunately we can't put wheat back in this field because uh, we need to do crop rotation so we'll have to see. I'll check prices before uh, before I do plant anything just to make sure we're making the right decision um, yeah so <laughs> been quite eventful really sorry for the lack of posting videos um, it has been quite busy at work in reality and that's what made me lose this field here I left the game running a couple of days and fast forward just to simulate you know different bits and pieces and unfortunately this field wilted so uh, yeah but never mind I'm sure we can make a profit after all I mean we got 56,000 there in the bank um, but obviously I'm not sure how much it's going to cost to reseed and perhaps fertilize this field um, and the other one up ahead I mean, we've already got the fertilizer spreader. All we need is the, um, the seed. 
and the fertiliser to go in it, of course. But, uh, yeah, never mind. That's farming, I suppose, for you, isn't it? Um, I was rang by a friend of mine earlier today, not long after I got up, to say that there's a great demand on sugar beet. Um, but unfortunately we haven't got any sugar beet. Um, that would have felt about right to be honest, because that would have boosted the coppers and allowed us to invest in some different kit. But uh, never mind, I'm sure there'll be plenty of others. The plan was to actually harvest this field and put all the grain into storage instead of selling it. And then to uh, wait for a high demand uh, before uh, before selling it on. But unfortunately that didn't happen. Never mind though. Best laid plans eh? <laughs> getting there slowly. Like I say, it's going to be a steep learning curve because I'm not really a farmer. Um, I would come here on school holidays to visit Grandad and help him out where I could. You know, uh, loading bales onto trailers and stuff like that and bagging up bits and pieces and whatever you're working on the machines. But um, I haven't really been given much experience on the farming side of things. So I don't know, like, you know, what's the best crop, what gives the best yield. So, um, I need to be learning that. It's going to be a learning curve that you're going to witness as well. And this is stage one of the learning curve, learning to try and get your harvest in as quick as you can as soon as it's, uh, as soon as it's ready. I make that tree? Yeah, I missed that tree. Winner. There you go. Didn't give myself as much headland on this side, to be honest. No, I'm not too work, still do it. There we go. I popped down the dealer yesterday just to have a look at a bit of equipment. Uh, like I said, I was looking at a power harrow for that field over there. So I've got my eyes on one, but it is quite a small one. It's only about three metre working width. So it's not huge. Uh, but it did come with an attachment for a cedar on the back, like a three-point hitch. So I was pondering whether to perhaps trade in the cedar we've got, um, and then maybe buy the power harrow and a small cedar, which I can put on the back. And then what I can do is I can plough fields and then I can harrow and seed straight after, in one pass, which will save time. But I'm not, I didn't get a chance to have a look at any cedars, unfortunately, because I didn't have any in. So uh, the kind salesman said that he'll have a look around and he'll see what's best suited for the back of the harrow. What won't put too much strain on it, because obviously we don't want to be damaging it. Uh, and he'll get back to us, he'll give us a ring. And then he'll show us and then we can make a decision from there. So, uh, so yeah, things might... Uh, might change regarding our seeding equipment. There we go. Also, what I did the other day uh, when the field had dried out, uh, when we found out that this was as it was, I needed to get my head away from it because I thought, oh, all that money I've lost. So I um, had a look at the JF forage harvester. Not mower harvester. Uh, it needed a bit of work doing, a bit of lubrication, you know, just normal services sort of stuff, nothing too major. So we did that, and we did a quick lap of the field, the grass field, that we've got the paddock. Um, we've then put the grass in the, cl in the clamps, so there's a bit in there at the minute, but not a huge amount. Um, it's not a bad little mower, actually. The only problem is the trailer that it's got. It's a bit small, so you have to keep on emptying it quite often. But uh, 
like I say, we, we, we intend to get cows, but we're not doing it just yet, so there's no desperation really to get that sorted. It's a shame really when you see all this money going to waste. Never mind. Never know how much it would actually have bought. Obviously when we harvest the field next we'll be able to get an idea but you know. Nobody ever said farming was easy, did they? At least we've got a nice day for it today. As the weather's brightening up, we might try and get a bit done over the next couple of days, so you might see another video or two. We shall see. See what the weatherman says. It's supposed to be a nice day tomorrow. It's supposed to rain, I think, on the Saturday. But, uh, I think we've had enough rain to last us for a year or so now, so <laughs> hopefully not. I mean, that river there was near enough uh, flooding its banks. You know, we had a, we actually thought that we might actually start have to get some defences up to look after the farm, but luckily it stopped and it stopped swelling, so we didn't have to, but it was something I'll we'll have to keep an eye on. It. Make sure we get in the full working width for the cultivator, or the this power over whatever you want to call it. I must really stop going to the dealership because I keep on seeing some nice tractors in there, like there's a few nice John Deere's and a nice JCB fast track which I have my eye on. A uh, nice New Holland. But they're all well out of our price range, I mean, you know between 150 and 200,000 pounds it's not really what I can justify yet with the uh, the money we've got and the size that we are uh, there's also a big class Lexion Terra track in there I didn't really look at the price because I thought well you know definitely won't be getting that anytime soon I think if we had that we could have got this field done in about two minutes because it had a 12 meter header on the V 1200. So, uh, yeah, it would have been alright. I was tempted by a uh, little Deutz harvester that was in there. Can't quite remember the model uh, now, to be honest, because I only just had a quick look. Um, <laughs> didn't come with a a corn header, unfortunately, it just had its normal grain header, uh, but it did look quite nice, to be honest. Uh, so, we might look at upgrading the combine soon if we can. It all depends how much it is and if we can justify it. Uh, at the moment, what we need to do is we need to see how much everything's going to be to, you know, get field seeded and prepped and fertilised and whatever. You. Of course, it's not worth spending money unless you're going to make the money back. So,
take too long I wouldn't have thought. I hope you're enjoying this series anyway. Um, I'm trying to make it as realistic as I can. Try not to you know, drive over crops and stuff. As in, <laughs> ones that we're going to harvest. Obviously we're not harvesting this. Um, like I say, I'm not going to tab unless it's, you know, after setting up a uh, hard work. Cause if I have to drive the tractor or the harvester to a field quite a way away, and then come back to get the tractor and trailer or something, then I will tab because, in theory, a helper or a contractor would actually drive out themselves. You wouldn't take the equipment out yourself. So uh, I'll tab for that. But other than that, I think I'll just walk between equipment and stuff. I need to try and get myself a car rather than that Unimog because obviously if I'm just going from point to point just to check things that's going to cost quite a bit of money on fuel so if I can get myself a nice little small car or some sort of pickup or Land Rover or something um, that would do the job nicely I also need to collect that fertiliser spreader actually from the shop. They rang me to say it's still there. I don't mind, you know, there's, there's plenty of space there for them to keep it, but obviously they wanted just to make sure I hadn't forgot about it. So uh, I need to go collect that sometime, which I might do this episode actually. I'll put the pallet forks on the, um, on the doits. Fetch it. Nearly done. I mean, this will only be a short video. It's just to explain what's been happening. Um, I'll just update a few bits and pieces. I will be doing another video tomorrow, which will be uploaded tomorrow as well, uh, which will be a continuation of this one. Uh, I plan to try and keep them fairly small if I can, so then. Um, doesn't get too long and boring. I also plan to put in the description what we're doing. Because obviously some people don't want to see cultivation and stuff like that. They'll see it as dragging on a bit. So uh, I will put in the 
description what we're actually doing on the farm. So if you want to miss certain bits, then uh, you're free to do so. Just a bit there. And a bit there. Oh no, that back one got it. That's good. Just trying to cut the corners a bit here. Cut the corners a bit. That's it. Let's spin that back around then. around here isn't it with that river there, I don't want to be getting too close to it in case I get stuck, because many two wheel drive tractors, I don't want to be getting this thing stuck or else I'll never get it out. Five more passes, I think, and we'll be about there. Keep on missing these little tiny bits. Oh well, I'll get them on the way back in a bit. I was speaking to um, another farmer and he actually farms not far from here, he's actually got a sheep farm um, just up the road he's actually thinking about selling that so uh, he said if you know if he does would I be interested in it 
And I said, well, at the moment we're sort of having trouble with our own, if I'm honest. But I said, please still give us first refusal if you do intend to sell it. So he said he will do. Uh, he didn't say what he was thinking about selling it for, as in how much. So we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, we might look at buying a sheep, for, uh, sheep farm as well. So uh, we shall see. I'm thinking of the right one, it's the one on the other side of the farm shop. I could be wrong. He described where it was, and that's the only place I can think that's round that way, so. Uh, have a look, have a sneaky look. Talking of equipment at the uh, dealership, right next to the Terra Track uh, class was a John Deere with Caterpillar tracks as well. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? With all this rain that we've had, them two bits of kit would have been ideal. I mean, I don't know what they're like on the road normally when it's not been raining or anything, but uh, you know, track wear and stuff. But uh, I thought, yeah, it's just typical of that, just ideal for what we needed. do now is I'm going to go put the equipment away and uh, I shall be right back. I shall see you all in a moment. And welcome back. Um, I've decided now to have a little look at the uh, sheep farm. It's quite high up there isn't it? Um, I came by in the Unimog uh, but the uh, owner's out. I saw his wife uh, but she said come back whenever I, uh, I'm passing, so uh, I had a quick look around and it's a fair size actually, it's ideal for equipment and stuff, so uh, yeah, we'll have to see about possibly getting this in the future. But uh, what we're going to do now is do as we planned, which is to head to the um, dealership. So if I was back out of here, it's quite a nice setting actually right by this reservoir plenty of water. Um, it wouldn't be ideal for big equipment because it is a bit of a tight bridge up here. Chicken. Um, but it's manageable. So I'm sure it should be fine. Uh, but like I said, let's have a good look around it with the owner. See what fields are included. And see what he wants for it. So that might be a future purchase. I do like this. Nice little waterfall look. Hmm. Up by the mill. Right, it's so off to the dealer. Right in 
bit of a rough road. As you can see with the Unimod, I've taken off the uh, tip of body and I fitted the front hitch to it. I did that not long after we found out that the uh, field was finished with, you know, we couldn't do anything with it. So I thought to myself, well, let's get this thing ready for working on the farm. Um, so yeah, we fitted the front hitch. Uh, which way do I go? Go down that way, down, I think. So yeah, I thought using the unibox is a bit quicker than the track that we currently got. I'm not sure where else they'll be, if they'll be in misc or if they'll be in uh, cultivation, so let's have a quick look in misc. Some of this stuff you see in here I will be using, so a uh, bit of a sneak preview. No, I can't see it in misc, so it must be in cultivation then, so... Uh, where are we? There we go, cultivators. And there's that one there. For eleven. Mm. Non hidden in the plows, nope. And non hidden in the sewing machines. Yeah, because I was thinking about getting that to go with it. Because uh, it's the same working width. So that should be quite useful. Um, hmm. I might leave that for now. And just get the uh, yeah, just get the cultivator for now. Not the power harrow. There we go. So by done. There it is. So. Into the John, uh, into the um, mini mug. Start her up. And go and pick it up. And head back to the farm. Oops. There we go. It's not too bad, is it? The reason I put it on the front, you see, is so I can still see where I'm going. Because obviously, you never know, had the uh, sprayer on the front, I'd be blind. So, right. There we go.
that will fit in here? That is the question. Mm, should do. Yeah, just about. Yeah, so if I just dump that down for the moment, I'm going to put the spreader back here. Beacon on really shouldn't have to do that. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. And let's head to the plant field over here. What I might do now is I might call this video uh, here. Um, in the next one, I might actually uh, start the hammering, finish it, um, yeah, I think I might actually record it. this field first and then I'll start thinking about seeding. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, I know it's been a bit slow, not really much been happening in it, but uh, things are starting to build up slowly and surely, maybe bits of equipment and what have you. So uh, hopefully things will start to look up now, hopefully the rain won't happen again, not really look. Because uh, that becomes a bit of a bit of a shock to the first strings. Still got 45,000 to my name, which is still better than nothing. So you must complain really. So yeah, got a little harrow, which means now we can uh, plan to turn fields and then harrow. See the shooting orders coming out there. Not too worried about the bits like that because uh, the cedar should still be able to cope with them. So there we go then. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I should be finishing this field off on camera. Um, the next episode and then we're going to have a look at seeding. Uh, I'm not sure on this game whether you have to fertilise first or seed first or what so I'll find out and then we'll do that accordingly. So until then, thank you for watching and please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye for now.